is scheduled for one fall with a one hour time limit. Your referee, Bryce Gunsberg. Introducing first from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing 135 pounds, this is Lacey! And Daisy Hayes to be renewed. 60 minute time limit, one fall to a finish. And right off the bat, Lacey telling senior official Bryce Rumsberg to check the flower of Daisy Hayes because she insists that it's loaded, which is unbelievable. Yeah, I can't imagine Captain Cuteness herself would have anything really bad. How could anyone make such a claim about Daisy Hayes? She's lovable and peaceful and would do nothing wrong in professional wrestling. And out of Forest Park, Illinois, the fans here in the Chicagoland area fully behind the Hayes. And I see uh, Lacey's jaw jacking the senior official Bryce. Already? Already, yes. We will probably see plenty of that. She's quite the jaw jacker herself. And we have the opening bell of your main event here on Shimmer Women Athletes Volume 1. Lacey Hayes, a very small competitor, but don't let her small frame fool you. She spends a lot of time in the gym. She has a lot of power. I like to say that dynamite comes in small packages and she can withstand a hell of a beating in that ring and keep fighting. And she brings a lot, she packs a punch, and you know that firsthand, Madison Danger. Absolutely, absolutely. I've experienced it firsthand. I've experienced it actually from both ladies. Both ladies I've watched at ringside and ROH, and just, it should be incredible. Uh, two uh, women who are frequent <coughs> female competitors on the Ring of Honor roster doing battle here in your main event. Shoulder tackle from Lacey. Step over. Daisy Hayes back to her feet. Going for the hip toss. Lacey blocks and takes Daisy down with the arm. Right back to her feet she comes. These two women know each other very well. They do, and then coming back to her feet is the definition of Daisy Hayes. You knock her down, she will come back up. That's the amazing thing about that small little package. And she feeds off the support of the fans. And they uh, love them some Daisy Hayes. That they do. Can you blame them? Not at all. Not at all. Daisy made her ROH debut in April of 2004 in the corner of Matt Seidel and worked her way into becoming an active wrestler on the women's side of ROH. Lacey made her way to Ring of Honor in August of 2004 at the side of Izzy of Special K. And both women have had a chance to show the Ring of Honor fans what they're capable of on a handful of Ring of Honor events. Um, as well as yourself, Allison Danger, you've mixed up with both of them in four ways on all H events. And Shimmer Women Athletes uh, giving them a true stage along with yourself and along with everyone else on the roster to truly shine as athletes and show what they're capable of as wrestlers. They might be good managerial minds at ringside on the ROH shows, but here they're really getting a chance to show what they can do as competitors. That's the one thing about these women. They are total packages. Like you said, they might be able to manage, but these ladies can wrestle. They can go with the best of them. And as you say that, Daisy Hayes making you look really good by exemplifying just that, uh, quickly taking Lacey down and keeping hold of the arm. We saw some good agility from Daisy Hayes, able to nip up and work her way into this arm submission. Lacey trying to turn the tables, but Daisy relentless, keeping the hold. She's hanging on tight there. She's not letting go. Changes it up as Bryce Remsburg checks on Lacey's condition. Daisy Hayes made her pro wrestling debut in March of 2002, getting her start down in the St. Louis independent scene. Has mainly called the Midwest her home, but has ventured to the West Coast and wrestled on the East Coast, and has uh, had the opportunity to go down to Mexico as well. Look at this. She's really working that arm, keeping a hold of it, keeping Lacey down. That's the thing, you have to keep Lacey off her feet. If you can keep knocking her down, and totally take her off again. And for a hair, gives Lacey the advantage momentarily. No fall right there, but again, Lacey very quickly back to her feet, and telling the referee immediately that Lacey had the hair. And she denies it, obviously. 
There's one of her temper tantrums. Her temper tantrums are famous in the room. Both herself as well as her tag team partner, Rain, and the Minnesota home wrecking crew. And Lacey trying to set the pace right here. Out to the floor she goes. And uh, taking a little bit of a break. I'm going to drink a water. She's not going to let Daisy Hayes dictate this match. Lacey is the veteran in this particular match. Started in August of 2000. Training in the Twin Cities under the legendary Eddie Sharkey, who trained such uh, competitors as Nikita Koloff, the Road Warriors, uh, as well I uh, trained under Terry Fox in Minnesota. Uh, got trained as a teenager, and uh, despite uh, a relatively young age, I believe this is 22 or so, uh, she has been competing uh, for over six years now. And I see Lacey biding her time, setting up a game plan, trying to take the attention off herself, putting it on the haze. Haze waiting patiently. Well, Lacey we taking here? her time. Either woman wants to make a big mistake here in the early going of this matchup. In many ways, this matchup right here will settle the, uh, the rivalry on the indie scene between these two. They've crossed paths in Ring of Honor as well across the independence uh, over the past two years. Very strong competitors, and Hayes showing off the gun. Those are quite some guns, what would you say? 357, machine gun. You came for the gun show, didn't you? Yes, you bought two tickets to the gun show. But you gotta, as much as Daisy hits the gym, you can't fault Lacey. The girl's got a dancer background. She's very agile, very flexible. She's, she'll pull out some moves that you don't expect. But then she'll also grab a handful of your hair and break your eye. Yeah, she'll pull out some tactics that you do expect. Yeah. When you, when you, once you've seen Lacey and see what she's all about, and again trying to, as she just said, borrowing a page out of her partner Rain's playbook. She tried that with Ariel earlier on tonight. And now trying it with Daisy Hayes. This time, uh, they are actually going to lock up Greco Roman Knuckle Lock. Fingers interlace. A test of strength here between these two. Just got to watch Lacey. I don't trust her. Whoa, Hayes! Hey. Hand in the Knuckle Lock. Daisy Hayes. Not smart, sir. Not smart, sir, yes. I think so. Blondes are done. No way. They haven't met Daisy Hayes yet. One of the most gifted uh, athletes on the roster, even though she is one of the smallest. You know, for someone her size, she packs quite a punch. And there are definitely things that Lace is going to have to watch out for. That missile drop kick of hers. She packs the, the heart, heart punch. punches. Well. Yes. You know, you look at someone the size of Daisy Hayes doing the heart punch, you think that it wouldn't have much power, but if she, if someone in the athletic shape of Daisy Hayes connects full force with a punch right to your heart, it'll take you off guard. And she likes to use the heart punch as a setup for a variety of different finishing holes. She likes to utilize a combination of the heart punch followed by the Yakuza kick, as well the heart punch followed by the mind trip, a snapmare driver driving the face of her opponent down to the canvas while sweeping the leg. Oh, forearm shot from Lacey. She can hit hard as well. Daisy ducks underneath the attempts and takes Lacey over by the arm. Daisy right back to her feet. Hip toss, brings Lacey down. And back into the corner, Daisy charges. Oh! Lacey grabs hold of her and drives her face first into the bottom for a bucket. That stopped her speediness right there in its tracks. Very important maneuver right there in the matchup for Lacey because now she's able to uh, work over the back of Daisy Hayes with a series of kicks in the corner. Was able to take Daisy uh, off her game there and put a stop to the momentum that she had on her side. Now a blatant choke right in front of the referee. And standing on the throat, come on! Unbelievable. I can't believe Bryce doesn't just stop her right there. Unfortunately, she has to five to get her out of that corner. So. Bryce applying that count, and Lacey does break right before the count of five. I'm sure no one would like to see this qualification uh, end to the main event here on Shimmer Volume 1, but you've got to lay down the line. Bryce Redford, one of the best referees in the business. Running clothesline in the corner from Lacey. But one thing about Lacey is she knows how to get around the line. That's what she got to watch out. She will get you in a precarious position and then just take advantage of it as much as she can. Daisy trying her best to stay on her feet as she summoned the ropes by Lacey. Ooh. Head scissors from Lacey. Brings her down. That elbow connects as well. Getting a burst of energy. And a big Takes running her down. 
brings her down to the canvas and Lacey quickly rolling out to the floor, possibly just to prevent Daisy from getting the opportunity to roll her into a pinning predicament and also to get away from the quick offense of the Hayes. Oh, man. Ten what a burst of energy there. Does she still have it, though? Or Lacey trying to, uh, again, set the pace of the match herself. And uh, as soon as Daisy had the momentum, she rolled out to the floor to try to get away from her. But Daisy's what is she? knocking away what? all the way up top. Oh! oh! And just tossing Daisy Hayes off the top rope. And she oh, went soaring wow. into the center of the ring and connected full force with the canvas back first. Oh. And Daisy grasping at her back. That had to cause some damage there, Kaja. Daisy has been known to fly. She was going to take a risk. That's why they call it a high-risk maneuver. Going up top like that, she gave Lacey the opportunity to shove her off the top rope, and now it's Lacey in control. And that's the way Lacey likes it. She likes to be in control of everything. The girl is a control freak. Big body slam from Lacey. And just stomping away on the back. Audio producers in my earpiece. It seems as though Cindy Rogers' challenge to Chrissy Vane for a singles rematch based on what happened at the end of the tag team match earlier on tonight has been accepted. They will do battle on Shimmer Volume 2 as a result of the leverage from the floor which helped Team Blondage score the pinfall on the team of Cindy Rogers and Nikki Rocks earlier on tonight. So I see Cindy's looking for a little bit of revenge. And there goes Lacey back to the water. I wonder if she's even taking Daisy a little bit too lightly here tonight. She has been in control of the matchup thus far, but give her the opportunity to dig down for some energy while you have a water break. Roll up yeah. by Daisy! That's exactly what I'm talking about. Exactly. Give her an opening, she will take advantage of it. Daisy's smart. She's going to bide her time. She's going to take any opportunity that she can. Woo, that kind of hurt. And Lacey's feeling the effects of that. Daisy writhing in pain down on the canvas. She's feeling the effects of Lacey's offense as now oh. just blatantly choking, stepping on the throat of Daisy. Draws a warning from the referee. Takes a moment to adjust, goes back in. This shows how much in control she is. She can take her time. We've seen a great representation of just uh, how much diversity there is on the Shimmer Women Athletes roster here on Volume 1 so far. Ooh. Hard side slam from Lacey, hooks that leg, but Daisy able to kick out. We've seen the Lucha Libre influence, uh, wrestlers such as Chantel Taylor and Tiana Ringer from Canada, as well as Nikki Rocks. We've seen some of the uh, Diva-esque elements out of Team Blondage. <laughs> The strong style, hard hitting, out of Del Rey and Martinez, and now just two of the very best female wrestlers in North, North America today, going hold for hold, move for move, with Daisy Hayes and Lacey. And that looks painful right there, trying to pull her shoulders right out of her sockets. Just as flexible as uh, Mischief may have been earlier tonight, although not so intentionally, but she is very flexible. Uh, Daisy Hayes uh, can be bent in all sorts of ways, but continue to fight. She's uh, very athletically gifted. What the? Wow! And that was a series of strikes from Lacey. That's where that dancer ability comes into play. Good flexibility on her own part. Going for the cover here, but Daisy kicks out. Holding onto that back and Lacey's targeting it. She sees that as a weakness and driving the elbow repeatedly into the back of Daisy Hayes. Daisy gets herself in the ropes, trying gets away, but it didn't work out for her. And Lacey, very smart wrestler, realized that she was near the ropes, pulled her into the center of the ring as she applies the Boston Crab, putting a lot of strain on the back of Daisy Hayes while keeping the legs trapped as well. Referee Bryce runs her in perfect position to see if Daisy needs to give it up here. So Daisy trying to ease the pressure on her back and get to the ropes at the same time. Can she make it though? She's doing her best. She's got a lot of heart, a lot of, a lot of fight in her. Turns the tables on Lacey and gets a near fall out of it. Oh, but Lacey takes it right back down. down. Right as soon as Lacey got back to her feet, she connected with that X handle and goes right back to trying to do whatever she can to take away the energy of Daisy Hayes. Breaking the eyes, choking away, doing whatever it takes to get the win. Stay pretty racket. Lacey keeps choking her. She can effectively break her down by keeping that oxygen down. You need as much oxygen as you can get into your body when you're in that room. 
And by Lacey continuing to choke her, she's wearing her down faster. Both of these Ooh. women are very uh, cardiovascular gifted as well. They can go for long periods of time in the ring. And they can wrestle a very fast-paced and athletic style to continue fighting. Oh! The into the back of Daisy and mocking some of the fans here in Chicago. Did you see Daisy's head just flop all over her neck? That's whiplash right there on top of the back of the And Lacey looks like she's setting up to do it yet again. Comes charging into the corner, but this time Ooh. Daisy moves out of the way, and Lacey's knee collides with the turnbuckle. Daisy's taking this opportunity to fire away open hand strikes to the chest of Lacey. Peace, love, and some of the gimmick. Lacey sent to the buckle. Daisy charges oh, oh, right into oh, the boot. Oh, full force into the face of Daisy Hayes. Oh, oh. sweep in the back of her head just hit the turnbuckle. Oh. Her neck just snapped against the turnbuckle. Full force. She could be out. I can't imagine she'll even be able to walk after that little Cover! Oh! oh. But too close to the ropes. Lacey didn't pull her into the center of the ring before going for the cover. I don't see how Daisy Hayes is even going to get back up. What are we... What is she doing here? Such great ring, ring positioning by Daisy right there. She knew how close she was to the ropes. As now Lacey, again, whatever she can do to inflict some punishment, she's going to. As she's, she's now dying. bending the body of Daisy Hayes around the ring post. Oh, my goodness. Referee Bryce Redford trying to get in there and lay down the law to release the hold and bring the action back inside the ring. Oh, it's not legal to stay out on the floor like that and gets a shot to the midsection of Daisy Hayes. Daisy Hayes has got to be in excruciating pain right now. Lizzie just trying to soften her up for the implant DDT, which she has put away so many competitors in professional wrestling. That, and that, that is a brutal variation of the DDT. You are coming down on your head and neck with such velocity. It is, it's an insane move. Lizzie trying to soften her up even more. Daisy trying to fight her off. Oh, forearm to the back. A lot of punishment to the back of Daisy Hayes in this matchup. Was using that gear against her to keep bringing her back, but Daisy... Oh! oh spin kick and gets all of it! Daisy is down. Lacey has some lethal kicks in her repertoire. She connected with one of them right there. You see this time she got her away from the ropes. You saw Daisy reaching for them but could not get them, but was able to kick out. And Lacey's starting to get a little bit frustrated with Daisy's Continuing to fight, everything that Lacey throws at her, everything she brings to the table, and Daisy stays in this thing. Looking for the bow and arrow here. If she can get her hook properly, and she does. It's more stretching out of the back of Daisy Hayes. She has the legs tied up. She's pulling back on the chin, putting pressure on the neck. So many body parts being worked over with this one hole. But Lacey's got to worry about her own shoulders being down on the canvas. Oh, and Daisy oh, backs straight right into a cover. Unbelievable, wow. And that like, you, when she put her in that bow and arrow, all the flexibility in the world does not make that, that submission less painful, I can tell you that. And as soon as she was able to break free from the hold, she landed right on top of Lacey, was able to score a near fall, but as soon as Daisy was able to mount any sort of offense, Lacey cuts her right back off and goes right back to work on the back. Another solid forearm from Lacey. Daisy set to the ropes. That's the clothesline attempt. That's the back elbow. She's got the momentum. Goes for the close oh. body, but Lacey just catches her. Uh oh. What we got here? And just drives oh. her back right into the turnbuckles. And now hanging Daisy upside down in the tree of in the corner, tying up the legs. There's nowhere for Daisy Hayes to go in this position. And Lacey out to the floor now. What does she have up her sleeve? Again, trying to use some leverage, using the turnbuckles and the ropes for leverage to pull back on the chin of Daisy Hayes uh, to apply more pressure over that back even more. Daisy trying to fight. She's doing her best to stay in this matchup despite everything that Lacey throws at her. She is the definition of fighting spirit that Daisy Hayes. Oh, kick right to the back. Daisy trying to free herself from this position in the corner, trying to sit up. And again, the cocky Lacey taking a break for some water because she, she has Daisy in a helpless position. 
Oh, but how good is this she? Trying to kick her way out of the corner. Oh. Kicked away at the head of Lacey. Perhaps holding the head. Chip! Oh, wow! Hayes, how you come? Unbelievable! Up. A cute maneuver by Daisy Hayes. And she's got Lacey out. She's got her down. Lacey is stunned, could be injured. I can't believe this. A modification of the Daisy Cutter right there. She was able to grab hold of the head of Lacey and connect with basically a swing chin breaker with the extra leverage of the ropes for more impact. This buys Daisy some heat time to shake off the effects and all the punishment that Lacey has unleashed on the back of the head. Which one will get up first, even if either of them can get up? That's what I want to say. Well, with the beating that Daisy's taken so far, it's amazing that she's even continuing at this point. Both women back oh. up. Daisy fires first. Forearm shot. Lacey oh. fires back and takes Daisy off her feet. Oh. But she's continuing to fight herself. Can I take the forearm on Lacey? Oh. Back and forth they go. Lacey saying to bring it on. And that's exactly what Daisy's going to do. Burst of energy from Daisy Hayes. Off the ropes. Momentum. And takes it down with the forearm strike. Waiting for Lacey to get back to her feet. Uh-oh. Repeatedly driving the face into the knee. The Yakuza kick. That could be it. Cover. God. At the last split second, getting the left shoulder up off the canvas. Referee right on top of things. How did she do that? Daisy Hayes needs to follow up. What is she going for? She's calling the turnbuckles in the corner, waiting for Lacey to get back to her feet so that she can strike. Up to the second rope goes Daisy Hayes. Leaping Larry and off the second. Cover! No, Lacey gets her shoulder up. You gotta hand it to Daisy Hayes, despite the punishment for upwards of almost 20 minutes now in this matchup. She has been on the receiving end of a whole lot of pain at the hands of Lacey. That back of Daisy Hayes has seen better days, but she's not letting it phase her. She's going up top. Oh, but oh, back to her feet. Oh, takes away her balance, and Lacey grabs hold of the head. Oh, what we got here? Her legs over the ropes. Oh. Break her with that elevation. Daisy's back down. Could she possibly be shut down completely? Pulls way? her away from the ropes. Covered by Lacey. Oh, but Daisy Hayes kicking out. So much heart in this girl. So much frustration felt by Lacey right now, though. She goes for the cover again, but Daisy bridging out to keep her shoulders off the canvas. Such a phenomenal athlete, Daisy Hayes. And Lacey as well. She's got her up on her shoulders. Sunset flip! Oh, so close! Lacey likes to utilize a variation of the TKO, a TKO neck breaker of sorts. Daisy going for the heart punch! Oh! oh in the midsection. We got Lacey's here? got her up! Did she get it? TKO neck breaker! Oh, this could be it. What do we... She's got to get on top of her, though. Cover! Daisy gets wow. her shoulder up. Daisy continuing the fight and Lacey getting increasingly more frustrated that she can't put her away. So much history between these two women. They know each other's style so well and they're even here 20 minutes into this match. The win would be impact EDT. She get it. Lacey trying to fight it off. She's got that before. Work to the gut. Implant EDT. Takes up the leg. What is this? And oh, almost three. Daisy Hayes, heart punch! Oh, yes! My trip! Cover! Whoa! She did it! She did it! Daisy Hayes pulled it off! Oh my gosh, I thought Daisy Hayes was done for! She fought for it! She finally was able to hit it! So November 6, 2005, will go down in history. Tonight was the debut show of Shimmer Women's Athletes. 18 women went in there. Heart, soul, body, mind, spirit, blood. We proved that women's wrestling is possible in the United States of America. You know what? People tear us down all the time. 
We're just a bunch of eye candy. We don't take this seriously. Every single one of us take this seriously. We eat this business, we breathe this business, we live this business, this is our life, this is our soul. This is what keeps us going every day. And we've proven tonight that American Joshi is absolutely possible.